Alrighty, folks, there she is. Full RS4 system for the CRF300L. Um, it's been out of stock for a while, and I got a text notification yesterday saying it was back. So I bought it probably within five minutes, and it showed up less than 24 hours later. But I am only like 40 minutes away from where they ship these from, so pretty awesome though. I got it the next day and it looks super nice, so I'm gonna mount it up and see how she sounds. Uh, another thing to add is that it came with these spring, spring clips. Uh, looks like some replacement screws for a heat shield, maybe, and then it even came with a spring puller. I almost bought one of those, but looks like they sent one, so that's cool. Then it came with a little replacement heat shield. I don't know exactly for which section yet. Um, and then a little Yosh sticker pack, so that's cool. And a QR code for assembly instructions. Uh, alrighty, this was pretty simple. Unbolted the stock unit. All I had to do is pop the seat off, pop the side panel off. Um, pretty much trace every bolt on the stock exhaust, which was easy. And then I just kind of test fitted the, the Yosh. And so far it's perfect. I didn't have to wedge anything or force anything into place. Um, perfect fit. So I started at the header. Um, I didn't tighten anything super tight yet. I left this so I'm able to swivel it around. I let that sit in place and then I slipped this mid pipe in through the back straight into here. No springs on yet. Plugged in the O2 sensor um, and then that mid pipe. I used this bolt, and this is just the stock bolt going into the Yoshimura fitment. And then there's another spring connection here, which I haven't put on yet. And then I slip the muffler on, and that's its anchor point. And it was super smooth. So I'm just gonna tighten everything and then see how it sounds, I guess. All right, there it is. Fully torqued down. No spark arrestor. This is just exactly how they delivered it. So let's fire it up. Let's see how it sounds. Doesn't sound too much. Doesn't sound too much different at these cruising speeds at all. I can still hear the engine whining. I can definitely hear deepness in the back, but there it is. Not like what I was expecting, to be honest. Oh, it's definitely quicker. <laughs> throttle's a lot smoother. 
like letting off and getting back on it doesn't uh, jolt me out as much anymore I read so much stuff about people saying this is so horrible on the highway I can't even cruise I can't even hear a difference at a normal cruising speed like this like I can't hear it at all even when decelerating I mean I can just barely hear it rumbling on the back but I was expecting a super loud drone, but not at all. I can still hear the engine whining a lot. Huh, interesting. Oh yeah, the... The throttle's so much smoother. This is stock ECU, by the way. I can't believe how smooth it uh, it mounted up. Yeah, it is so like not as loud as I thought it was gonna be. But yeah, it mounted up so smooth, slipped right into each other, no big gaps between the connecting pipes or anything. Springs went on good. Um, it came with two springs, one's a little bit longer and one's a little bit shorter than the other one. Um, the longer one goes in the front section and it kind of looks like it could be the opposite. I did it backwards at first, but the longer one goes in the front section toward the engine and then the smaller spring connects the muffler on the back section. Yeah, I'm super happy with this. Let me open this. Definitely. I almost feel like I hear a rattle somewhere, so I'll have to check that out. I can hear like metal clinking. brought to life. I can't imagine with the ECU and the pipe. I'd love to hear someone else ride it so I can see what it sounds like from off the bike. Probably is really loud like from behind, but on the bike it sounds great. Definitely monitor gas mileage as well. Um, and the insane amount of heat that comes off the right side of the bike. It's weird, I can feel the heat right now, 
but it feels lower than normal. Like normally my knee is boiling, but now it's uh, like my lower part of my leg, which is kind of weird, but I did only do a lap around the block, so. Uh, yeah, we'll see if my gas mileage gets affected at all. That would probably come with the ECU, but feels the same so far. Front of the bike sounds the same, back of the bike not that much different. And the throttle uh, bike just overall is so much smoother. Oh, it's in my face. <laughs> If I could find what's rattling. Mm. Ooh, should've take should have wiped it down before I heated it up, huh? Alright, that's that.